Hi, my name is Richard Rouse. I'm the director on The Church in the Darkness. Richard, what is The Church in the Darkness? The Church in the Darkness is a top-down action infiltration game, sort of like high-speed stealth, where you are infiltrating a religious cult in the 1970s. They've moved down to South America to isolate themselves, get away from the horrors of the U.S., and you're trying to get in to check on your nephew to see if he's okay. But the story changes every time you play, so you don't know if the cult group is super dangerous and apocalyptic or they're just radicals who want to go be by themselves. So what goes into, because we've, we've heard of procedurally, uh, procedurally generated dungeons and like maps and stuff, but a procedurally generated story, how does that work? Yeah, so I mean, there's a lot of things that are similar about the cult in all the different scenarios. Like they're always very anti-U.S. government, they're always socialists, but just how dangerous they're going to take it. Like, are they going to harm people? Are they going to harm themselves? What's in store for these people? That's the sort of thing that changes. So it's a lot of the nuances in the dialogue, and you need to pay attention to that. And other clues you find in the camp to try to figure out what's going to happen here. What was it like building the game in Unity? It's pretty good. Unity is a pretty flexible environment, but it's also similar to a lot of other engines I've used before in terms of, you know, making the content. Uh, and, you know, it definitely provides really good authoring uh, and really good level editor and all of that. So, yeah, we like using it and it allows us to be on Xbox One pretty easily. So, so talk about um, the gameplay. It, um, I've noticed it's kind of stealthy, but you kind of run around. It's a lot fast. It's really fast paced. Right. Yeah, it's not, it's not so much a stop and load save every few seconds type of stealth. It's more of a, if you get into a jam, if you run away, you can get the system to reset back to where it was and you can kind of keep playing. Because it does have roguelike elements. It does have permadeath. You know, we want to give you a chance to keep going even when you mess up a little bit. If you mess up in a big way, though, you may die permanently and have to restart. <laughs> so what was the biggest challenge to you personally making this game a reality? Well, I mean, it's been a... It's, you know, as sort of my first modern indie game, you know, working largely by myself with a team that's distributed has been a big difference from like the AAA projects I used to work on. Um, and it's been a challenge just keeping so many moving parts coming together. I've really appreciated producers more than, than back when I worked in big studios. So when does your game come out? What platforms will it be on? So the game's coming out uh, later this year, hopefully. We're trying to nail that down exactly. Um, and we're coming out on Xbox One, of course, but also on uh, PC, Steam, and PS4.